Lately, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, I was not able to travel overseas, but I had to stay domestically. And when I tra traveled to Phuket City for vacation, I only had to witness the horrors of plastic pollution, climate change, and coral bleaching, which is one of the large effects of climate change. Now, let's ask United Nations Global Ambassador Alex Rendell why climate change needs to be fixed urgently. Okay, so climate change, as we all know, is a change in our climate, basically our temperatures, our weathers, our surroundings, our, our environment, basically everything is dependent on uh, certain temperatures and certain climate. And as we all know that the temperatures are getting higher, higher every year at a rapid rate, at a rate that is uh, fastest than ever. It is slowly causing our natural resources, causing effects to uh, us human beings, causing animals to losing lives. And basically our environment, our natural resources will slowly die out. And if we don't do something right now in the future, we'll be left with nothing. An example of this would be um, coral reefs. If, the, if our ocean's temperature changes just one or two degrees, it could slowly kill out the entire reef system that we have in, in our entire world. And that is what is going to happen if we don't do something about it now. So, um, so we really need to fix it. And if we don't fix it right now, eventually it'll be us, it'll be humans, and it'll be the next generation, it'll be our kids that will be in a world um, living to fight for survival in a way that has never been done before. Now, how could us each as individuals help contribute to stop climate change? So an easy one, a simple one, I would say, is all about the way that we eat. We could either turn into a plant-based diet because um, the fact that we are eating meat causes us to uh, cause more emission into our atmosphere, which is one of the key um, factors causing climate change. So, um, And also food waste would be a great one. I think that um, uh, to use our um, natural resources in a way that is sustainable, I think um, that there are, there are so many different ways, but I think those are the easiest and those are what we can contribute right away. Nowadays, lots of fast food restaurants offer this plant-based option for those who want to contribute to stop climate change. One of the most heartbreaking stories is a sign saying, please don't litter here, and then just a plastic bag right under there. So what would the future look like if no one does anything about climate change? Just to put things into perspective, um, so as we know, the COVID-19 is a, uh, a life-threatening disease. It's something that has spread and has affected us in so many different ways. We have lost lives. We have not been able to travel. We have... Um, uh, our economy has been hit very, very badly, and our lives have pretty much changed. And um, I was just at a conference, and um, one of the experts was trying to tell me that the climate change wave is actually many, many times more bigger than the COVID-19 wave. So supposedly the COVID-19 is this big, the climate change is actually going to be this big. So it will affect us in all ways. Um, we'll be fighting for our natural resources. Humans will have to uh, migrate. Um, we'll have to depend on innovations to keep us um, alive. We will have to fight. We will have to... Um, we will not be able to live in a world that we can predict the future and it will be an unsafe environment and it will just be a complete disaster in, in so many different ways. Already, after some efforts to stop environmental impacts, we have seen massive population bounce backs from species that were almost hunted down to extinction, like these jackfish and mangrove forests, which are nurseries to juvenile fish have once been regrown after being cut down. The beautiful critters might have another chance at living. As well as corals might be able to regrow and turn into large coral reefs again. Like these group of squids laying a future for the next generation of them. Like these turtles might have another chance to be able to roam a plastic-free ocean. Fish will be able to return to coral reefs. <laughs>